Mother's Day Mess, written by Karen Gray Ruel. Chapter 1. Silly Presents When you were little, what did you give Grandma for Mother's Day? Harry asked his mother. Grandma said she didn't need presents, said his mother. She said I was her favorite Mother's Day present. That is silly, said Emily. I thought it was silly too, said their mother. So I made lots of presents. One year, I drew her a picture. One year, I sewed her an apron. One year, I grew her some flowers. I also did special things for Grandma. I made her breakfast in bed. I cleaned the house. Emily made a face. Every year, Grandma told me, thank you, but you are my favorite Mother's Day present. I thought that was silly, but now that I am a mother, I understand. She smiled at Harry and Emily. Harry and Emily ran outside. I want Mom to have the best Mother's Day, said Harry. Let's do the flowers and the breakfast, said Emily. We can make a card too, said Harry. But no sewing and no cleaning and none of that silly no present stuff, said Emily. Chapter 2. Faster Flowers Harry and Emily's father was working in the garden. Dad, said Harry, may we have some flower seeds? We have pansy seeds, said their father. If you plant them now, they will bloom in about two and a half months. When is Mother's Day? asked Harry. Mother's Day is in two months, said their father. That is not enough time, said Emily. We need faster flowers. We need them for Mother's Day. How about marigolds? They grow much faster, said their father. They are your mother's favorite. He got two empty cartons. Harry and Emily filled them with soil. They pulled little holes in the soil. They dropped in some marigold seeds. They covered the seeds with more soil. Water them every few days, said their father. They will be ready by Mother's Day. Harry hid his carton in his room. He wanted it to be a surprise. Emily hid her carton too. The next morning, Emily checked her carton for flowers. But there were no flowers yet. She watered it anyway. Harry watered his carton too. Emily checked the next day. Still there were no flowers. After that, she forgot to check. Chapter 3. Super Duper Pancakes Finally, it was Mother's Day. Harry and Emily woke up early. They had a lot to do. First, they had to make sure their mother was still asleep. Mom, Harry whispered, are you asleep? Don't wake up yet, yelled Emily. Let's get the flowers, said Harry. He ran into his room. He came back with his carton. There were pretty orange marigolds in it. Emily got her carton. There were no flowers in it. My flowers were not fast enough, said Emily. Don't worry, said Harry. I will share my flowers with you. Harry and Emily went to the kitchen. They found everything they needed. They had flour and eggs. They had milk and salt. They had baking powder and honey. They had peanut butter and marshmallows. They would make super-duper extra-special Mother's Day pancakes. Harry got a big bowl. He and Emily put everything in. This looks too gloopy, said Emily. Maybe it needs more peanut butter, said Harry. They put in the rest of the peanut butter. That looks yucky, said Emily. That is what pancake batter looks like. Let's cook some, said Harry. They put a spoonful of batter in a pan. It sizzled and spat. It looked hard on the edges. Harry turned the pancake over. It was all black. You burned it, said Emily. Harry tried again. This time he turned the pancake sooner. It was mushy in the middle. The third time, it worked better. After the pancakes were ready, 
Harry and Emily made a card. They wrote Happy Mother's Day on it. They drew a picture of a happy mother eating pancakes in bed. They drew marigolds too. Harry put the pancakes on a tray. Emily put the marigolds and the card on the tray too. They carried it to their mother. Chapter Four: Real Presents. Happy Mother's Day," said Harry and Emily. Their mother smiled. "Did you make that for me?" she asked. Harry and Emily nodded. "Marigolds," said their mother. "My favorite flower. How did you know?" Their father winked. Harry and Emily brought the tray to the bed. They put it down carefully. Harry put the napkin on his mother's lap. He put the card next to her plate. He handed his mother a fork. Then Emily jumped onto the bed. "Oops," she said. The tray bounced. The marigolds fell over. The pancakes fell onto the bed. The maple syrup spilled. "Oh no," said Harry. "Your breakfast is ruined." "I messed up your Mother's Day present," said Emily. She started to cry. "But you didn't mess up my present," said their mother. "I love that you made me breakfast. I love that you grew flowers for me. I love that you made me a beautiful card. But most of all, I love that you wanted to make me happy." And I love both of you. You are my favorite Mother's Day present. And she gave them both a big hug, right in the middle of the breakfast mess. Look," said their father, "you made Harry and Emily pancakes, but we can't eat this breakfast. I will help you clean it up. Then I have a Mother's Day surprise too. I will take you all out for a pancake breakfast." Yum," said Harry and Emily. "This is my second favorite Mother's Day present," said their mother. The end. This read aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Hit the subscribe button for more kid-friendly read alouds. Thanks for watching.